Hello and welcome back to Think Build Test. Uh, today we're down in the pit, as you can see, and today we're going to be leveling up and going wireless. So if this is your first time on the channel, this is a pit, and it's not just an ordinary pit. We've put a hydraulic floor in here. We have a Viver dual acting pump, and I used a dump trailer pump for this, so it has a battery and everything. I kind of thought, oh, if I pop a breaker and I'm stuck in here, then let's use the battery and it'll always have power and we just keep it tender charged. So in using this in my pit, I have to stay constrained to this end with this fixed remote. And with this remote, there are some things I need to be on that end in order to be able to freehand it. And I want to be able to use this pit for more things like lifting things because it's a big beefy X frame with a hydraulic ram, so why not? I'm gonna demonstrate some of the reasons why I wanted this, but for now, I'm gonna show you how to do the install on this, and we'll see how easy it is to get this going. So this is the Nutri 2-in-1 crane remote. You can find this on Amazon to buy, and I really like the fit and finish of this thing compared to some of the other ones I was scrolling through, but Nutri did send this model for me to demo, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description with a discount code, and if you use that link to shop for this, it'll help my small channel out. So as you can see, there's a two direction and a four direction. This is standardly around $79, but with the link I'm gonna give you, there's an additional discount, so make sure you check that out. So first impressions, the remote, I believe this is supposed to be waterproof and drop proof. That's what the other piece says. So that'll be really handy. And these are mostly gonna be used for a dump trailer type situation. So if you were wanting to be able to see your load as it comes out of a dump trailer, then this is gonna be an excellent tool for that. But let's see how this installs. We'll see how smooth this operates and we'll answer all those details coming up. Here's the transmitter unit. It comes pre-wired, ready to go with all your connection points. It comes pre-attached with its own standard remote. So if your batteries die or you can't find your other remote, you're not gonna be stranded. So this looks like five or less screws and you'll be set to go. It tells us what the wires are for. Red is for 12 volt, black is for ground, white's for the pump, yellow's for up, green is for down. If you're on a grounded trailer system doing this, make sure to disconnect the battery because if this red wire were to touch your frame of your trailer, then it would cause an arc. So make sure your battery is disconnected also for a grounded network. Mine is not grounded. Make sure you take your ground off your battery. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take our ground cable loose and get it separated from this so it can't fall off while we're working. Now let's take the existing cable loose and see where all it goes on my setup. Okay, we're gonna start with our lifting side. Take this screw out, pull this out, undo the strain relief, get those pieces pulled back. and pop this back pull those wires we're gonna leave the ground there and just take this one the incoming power for this solenoid this is going to be the up solenoid unless it's not fish this gray one back We're gonna have to take this yellow and cut it off. We may need more length on this to cut this back. A little more length on that. Thank you. 
Okay, we'll repeat that for the other side. Pull the blue out, get the green off. Okay, this cord has just a brown and a black. This is obviously going to be 12 volt coming in with a red power. Keep this wire away from the other wire. We're mixing metrics with standards, half inch and 10 millimeter. Okay, this first lug is our 12 volt. The other one's going to be the one that goes to the actuator. So this is what's going to cause this solenoid to engage the power for the pump. The old wire is free. It's only got four wires because there's no electronics being powered. It's just switches. The new unit has a fifth wire for a ground so that it will have uh, the electronics powered for the wireless system. Okay, we'll see if we can use all these. I took all these and broke them out and we'll try and continue using these. The white wire goes to the pump, so it's gonna go to the small post on the solenoid and it will actuate the pump. Red wire goes to power. We'll have to see if we can split that fork. Okay, those are done. Then I believe there's another ground down here that goes to the ground side. So we'll put that there. Change this clamp over to the new harness. Put the ground for the solenoids back on. All right, so that should be it. So if this doesn't work, swap these two solenoids around. They'll be backwards if your up and down isn't working right. We have a flashing light showing that we now have power to this because we have a power and a ground going through this. So that's probably a good sign. First off, we can uh, test this, see how it goes. Okay, so that's gonna be our up direction. And I guess since they didn't label this, kind of makes it hard for you to mess it up. You'll just be swapping these buttons for what your preference is, I guess. All right, their manual remote works. Now, one thing I wish they would have had that the original had was my original has magnet, so this is not magnet. This is the original. It's magnet. I kind of like that. Uh, even if I had that on a trailer, it'd be nice. So, yeah. If the company could go and add some magnets, that would be awesome. But uh, other than that, uh, fit and fail. <laughs> Similar buttons, similar feel, not really noticeable, but uh, that's not what we're here for. This is going to be our backup for right now. We're worried about this little blinky light right here. So let's talk about this real quick. This has a rubber shock bushing, and if you were going to mount that on your trailer, that bolt will be able to go right in, maybe right on the inside of your little toolbox for your battery. Okay, here's the little remote. Uh, let's see what happens if we hit stop. Oh, uh, look. Something happens. No big deal. What happens if we hit start? Okay, we're green. Green light. So it's kind of a double switch. 
so it won't probably go up and down in the stop mode but in the start mode going green and let's see if up is up 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 is up oh yeah down is down then we hit stop back to red can't go so that's a nice little fail safe a uh, little double button two things have to get hit in order for this to mess up uh this magnetic okay this also isn't magnetic but this maybe you don't want to have magnetic things getting snagged to your clothes let's uh see what this is like lifting from the other side let's uh, hit start all right going up <laughs> Oh, right in the TV. Now maybe we can just stand way back here. Going up. Let's see how far this thing will go. Let's do a little distance test. Okay, so this is ridiculous. This is way, way away. So let me count these steps off. 59, 160, 161. All right, so that's about 161 yards. Quick math, this number in feet. So I went ahead and mounted my receiver over here out of the way. Uh, maybe I can't see the light that well, but it's out of the way. It's not going to get caught by the lift. Um, let's look at how long our manual cord is. I believe it's quite a bit longer than my old one. So, yeah, plenty of cord on the manual switch. All right, so here's my final thoughts on this. Pros and cons. The fit and finish of the wireless remote and receiver are very nice. This has awesome range, more than you'll ever need. Um, I do think this is going to be a huge benefit to not getting a cord hung up, uh, going up and down and around my moving and actuator parts. Uh, if I was going to use a dump trailer, definitely a bonus to be able to see what you're dumping and be able to be back there and watching. Uh, I know that these cables, when you have to roll them up over and over, that your hands get real grimy, so getting in and out of the pickup, trying to stay clean with these dragging the ground uh, can be a hard time. So this is going to be a lot cleaner. You can keep this in your truck, stay clean. So this is definitely a benefit for me. Uh, if you watch the channel coming up, you'll see how I continue to use this for projects. Now here's the cons. Uh, I would have liked it if the remote had the magnet on it. That's just a nitpicky thing because if I never would have had one with the remote in the first place, I probably wouldn't care. Since this is going to be an active electronic device that's running down your battery, make sure you use a knuckle switch to be able to turn your system on or off or this will run your battery down. Uh, that's a negative. Uh, not really about this because there's not... A great way to make it otherwise. Other than that, I think this is a great little product. I think the fit and finish is great for the items that you really were wanting. Do I recommend this? I give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out my description for a discount link and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't do that.